My back tire is flat and I'm not sure why. I'm going to try to replace it. Um, but first, I need to figure out what's wrong with it so that I don't replicate the problem. Okay. So, these are the tools for removing a bicycle tire. I'm going to put some gloves on. I'm not sure these gloves will survive the removing of the tire, but we'll see. A quick release on um, that tire here. Comes off easily. So what I need to do is get the lip of the outer tread um, over the rim uh, here. And I do that by using two of these guys. I'll do that again on multiple sides of the uh, tire. You can see how this is connecting with the, uh, the other loose um, part of the Bead. Now the two inner tube will come out. So first of all, this is the this is the stem. So this is the last part I want to take out. Let's start at the top here. All right, that brings the inner tube out. Uh, the inner tube is um, 28x1 one and 1 16th, 700 by 700x18 slash 23c, which is the type that I just bought. 
So that's good. My brother helped me out. He knows by memory. He lives in Kelowna, but I texted him and asked him what size my bicycle tires were. He just told me in 30 seconds. He built the bicycle, so he knows it pretty well. Dream cycle. So first of all, let me just see if this is if this is indeed um, punctured. And where it's punctured. That'll help me try to avoid that next time. And you can hear it's leaking from the right, right at the base there. I put some soap on it. You can actually see where where it's coming from there visually. So let's put the new tube in here, uh, and again, I'll do the reverse of what I just did, which is to put the stem in first, and then put the um, rest of the tube in. This is a mistake. I need to fill it up a little bit first. I forgot about that. You need to put a little bit of air in it so that it uh, sits properly in the Tire. Just a little bit there. That maybe. So you can see it's like a. It's got a little bit of air. And now I'll push it into the. housing. And now I need to place the lip of the, of the tire behind the ring again without pinching the inner tube. It's important not to pinch. And part of the reason why I fill the tire, the uh, inner tube with air is to um, I ripped a little bit of the flake I squirt off there to get it uh, part of the reason why Fill the inner tube is to make sure that the tube does not get pinched by the tire itself. And part of the way I can make sure that it's not going to, another way that I can make sure it's not going to get pinched is by rolling the tire back and forth so that the tube occupies the upper part of the tire and not uh, the rim wall 
where the tire will be pressing um, after being after the tube is inflated. So. So it gets tight. It gets harder and harder as you, you know, um, go around the wheel, obviously, because it's coming to the point where the, this much of the tire is no long is not on the lip yet, and um, so at this point I have to use these guys again. In my experience, this part is harder than getting the um, tire off when the when the inner tube is um, flat. But you know you might get a you might have a different um, experience. So I'm just trying to over the bridge. Try to start with the part that's um, closest to already being popped over. I go over here, pop that, and then go over here. And now everything is popped over. Actually, that was a bit easier. Maybe I had it backwards. Maybe the taking off is the harder part. In any case, now I make sure again, roll the uh, tire and inner tube couple to make sure that they are um, away from the rim edge. Everything looks good. I mean, it's about the right pressure is what I mean, obviously. Yeah, I'm just going to go with that. I'm having trouble pushing it any further anyway. So, and it feels pretty firm. And, um, replace the cap. Put these guys back together. And now, entire wheel assembly back onto the um, rear of the bicycle. Let's try putting on upside down. I'm using the fact that the tire has a kind of a gyroscopic effect to center itself. Low energy point when it's spent. Spinning. Thanks for joining me, and I hope that was educational.